when I was incarcerated, when I was locked up, one of the staff uh, people, a nice lady, she's gone now, may she rest in peace. She had a dream, but no money, <laughs> like, like many of us. We have ideas, we have dreams, and a lot of times it takes money. It takes some kind of funding, finances, in order to accomplish these things. And so she did a little research. And she bought this book and she began to find out that in the United States many wealthy people, many individuals, private individuals, the government, private organizations, they give out millions and millions of dollars free money in the form of grants so you don't have nothing to lose a grant is money funding that you do not have to repay now the individual the government or the organization, when you apply or you make a request and you ask for grant money, they all have their criteria. You have to qualify or whatever. There was a, a, a grant. There was somebody giving out grant money for people who are left-handed trying to go to college. If you are if you are left-handed, then they would give you a certain amount of money simply because you were left-handed so that you helped you go to school. It was it's all kinds of grant money out there. The thing about it is we don't know. What do they say in the Bible in the religious? My people, they suffer from the lack of knowledge. We don't know. And even if we know, we don't know how. So she helped me, she introduced me to how to apply for grants. She wanted to quit being a worker in this mental facility and she wanted to dedicate her life to children. She wanted to open up a daycare center in the uh, in the low income section of the city to help low income single mothers or families help them with their daycare expense. And that's what she wanted to do. I believe she was successful. I'm not really sure. I don't know how that went. Because she did quit that job. I don't I don't know exactly how that went. But I was just thinking about her because I was watching a news program and they were talking about Bill Gates the billionaire and in the news story they were reporting that Bill Gates made it known he didn't want to be he didn't want to be put into the uh, Top 10 of the world's richest men Or however that goes 
the Forbes top 10 richest men, top 25. He didn't want nothing to do with that no more. He wants to give his money away to charity. And of course, the first charity that he gave his money to is the Bill and Melinda Gates uh, charity. And I'm like, wow. This made me to think. Okay. Whether we like it or not, much of the things that we would like to do takes funding. Now, if you are living in the blackity black pro blackness community, they reach out to the black community. The same community they say is poverty stricken and doing pretty bad. They expect poor people with their little dimes and dollars and nickels to fund their projects. You will hear somebody like Dr. Umar Johnson. No, 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 no. I'm not taking no money from no white people. I'm not taking no money from I'm only getting my money from the brothers and the sisters, the, the black man and woman in, a, in America. I'm not You would hear them say that. We only take money. Now I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly if if, uh, if this is true or not with the Nation of Islam. Because I know Farrakhan takes a lot of money from, um, of course, brothers and sisters, soul brothers and sisters. The Nation of Islam has always reached out. We don't take money from the white man, from the enemy. We reach out to the brothers and sisters. So, but I do know now, Farrakhan takes money from Scientology. Farrakhan takes money from the government. His merchandise and books are they sell that their religious stuff to the to the government and the government gives it to the prisoners so they take money they sell things to, to, to white people whatever blah 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 I'm glad I'm not in the black conscious community because that mindset makes no sense the majority of the money that we get as soul brothers and sisters in this country. The majority of the money that we get, it goes to other people. To the Arabs, Africans, Asians, and of course to Caucasian, the American Caucasian people in this country. It makes no sense to me if they could take my money, why I can't get some of theirs? When I was in the Nation of Islam and we was out, out on the street selling that newspaper, I tried to sell it to anybody. It's a newspaper. Why white people or Arabs or China, why they can't read the Final Call newspaper? We trying to reach our people. Here, here, here we are. It's a newspaper. It's our propaganda. It's still a newspaper. We can't sell the Final Call newspaper to other people outside of white folks. But when you go to the mosque, there's the New York Post. There's the New York Times. We are buying their newspaper. How come they can't buy ours? It's news. You say it's a newspaper. I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't, it just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. 
if Umar Johnson really wanted the school, he would be like Malcolm X. I'm going to build this school by any means necessary. White money, Arab money, I, as long as I can get some funding, because I need to get this school going. He been hustling and screwing around since 2014. It's 2022. There's no Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey Academy for Boys. Matter of fact, the boys are now grown men now. So I'm I'm gonna I want to reach out to you to help me to research and understand because I would like to get some of this grant money. My first request, my first target is to apply with Bill Gates Foundation and Melinda Gates Foundation. And I want to present to them Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign. And see some of you think or you view the Mississippi campaign as something for Black people. No, see, <laughs> you, you really don't understand wisdom. It's something that can benefit soul brothers and sisters, but you have to design it because we live in a diverse country. You can't ask people for their money and they don't get nothing out of it. It has to be something beneficial for them also. So I can present the Mississippi campaign to Bill Gates Foundation and I want to see maybe I can get some of this grant money because if I can get a decent amount of grant money it's only popping it's only popping we're going to leave all these other people in the dust because they are limited they are limited We are limitless. They set boundaries. There is no boundaries. Now I would not sell us out. And there's a certain amount of principle. And I'm not going to be. Bill Gates or nobody's boy. But if you qualify. And you put this out there, and they grant you the, the funds, it's on and pop. The Mississippi campaign is a political movement, it's an economic movement, it is an improvement of a state. The foundation is to improve the state, not just for soul brothers and sisters, improve the state for anybody that's living in the state. That's why it's on and popping. This is why I think if I if I properly present the Mississippi campaign to the foundation, we might get some money. But even if you get money, it means nothing if nobody don't want to do the work. It means nothing. So I just give, give them their money back. Because nobody want to do the work. You don't really want to be liberated. You really don't want to experience what true freedom is. The money is part of it. It's a lot of work. It still takes a lot of work and sacrifice. And we're not willing to do that. We are comfortable just doing what we do. But I need to try to find some way to get this 